All right, Ian. Uh, what else is we going? What else is going on here? We got a Patreon poll. Okay. You go to patreon.com slash see your podcast. Listen to Ian. Listen to him. Read his uh, writings once a week that are pretty good. I'm not editing him as heavily as I used to. Probably because I'm not checking him as much as I used to, but I'm not. Great. But uh, <laughs> we have here's a- the Patreon poll question. Okay. We do this uh, every podcast. Uh, so uh, in last place, what can we do to help game preservation efforts going forward? Only 22% of you asked that. If you could do a one-room mini arcade, what handful of games and pinball machines would go in it? 25% of you wanted that. Running away. Oh, a negative one. Running away at 54% of the vote. What annoys you about some game collectors? That Well, that blows it wide open. I'm just going to let Pat air his grievances for a moment here. <sighs> what annoys me about some game collectors? Some. Before everyone turns on me. Some game collectors uh, think that their value as a person is tied to their game collection that their self-esteem is tied to this race to get more and more games and yes before you say pat fuck you you have tons of games i collected most of these when people looked down upon me for having all these games because not, there wasn't a huge interest when i was doing it when i was when i was trolling the funko lands closing in like 2000 2001 2002 i didn't know many people that were into it i knew maybe one or two people personally that were into game collecting. It was like it was like finding uh, a conjoined twin in the wild. It was like how many people are doing this now? Everyone is. So before I get the disclaimer of the way, but my self worth I try not to tie to how many games I have, um, and I try not to do that with others. Saying, "Oh, you have less games than me." Well, fuck you. There are some game collectors that do uh, gatekeep like that. Be like, "Well, you're not a real game collector. You don't have a little Samson." You're not a game collector. You only have uh, you only have 25 NES games. You don't have the the 700 that I do. It's a weird sort of gate. And I'm sure this happens with other with other hobbies and communities because it's just a weird sort of I'm better than you. Here's the measuring stick we have with game with game collections. It's how many games do you have, or what's the value of your games, or how, what's the rarity of the the best games you have, or how many rare games do you have. And that's what annoys me about some game collectors is that gatekeeping, which is self-defeating, especially because in the end of time, as the years go on, if you want to put even a monetary value on your physical game collection, each year after year, I think we're getting to that point, the value is going to decrease and decrease and decrease going forward. So to put that sort of, uh, to tie that worth into your game collection to me is terrible. Now, if you want to, if you want to just say it's fun and I like to do it, that's one thing. Or if you want to say there's historical value on preserving these games, um, that's fine. That's that's part of the reasons I like to do it. But do do not tie any sort of fucking self-respect into it, or to demean others' uh, stature because you think you're better than them because of the amount of games you have, or 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 you have that weird fucking kitschy uh, Turbo Graphics collection that someone else doesn't have. That's that's what annoys me about some game collectors, Ian. Um, okay. Well, for me, uh, I guess this this is more related to perhaps just game players in general, or or what I see sometimes at the store, um, and I've been seeing it lately. Um, <clears throat> so I guess you could say it's maybe collectors too, because it does seem to come more from collector types, and it is sort of gatekeeping. But um, it's it's this. I'll be back in a second. Sure. I think it's this odd tendency to sort of um, push people away from a hobby. Push, push, push. Um, sometimes I think it's because these people uh, just want to talk to someone else about games a little bit more. Um, and sometimes I think it has to do with uh, them thinking that because they play games more, they collect more, they may just have a... They think that they are a um, uh, more of an authority on gaming or um, certain topics um, but uh, two stories that um, have come up recently in the store that I think would uh, be good examples of what drives me nuts one when um, a game collector or a gamer is wrong about something and they refuse to acknowledge it oh my god I hate that especially um, when it's with a child or um, a woman, they usually always seem to get uh, real like, 
<clears throat> Give me an example. Uh, I'm getting there. There was one uh, earlier this week uh, with um, Game Boy Advance games. Uh, dude and his girlfriend were in, and he was. They were looking at Game Boy Advance games, and she goes, "Oh, Mega Man and Base. I really like that one." And he goes, "Oh, it's Bass." And she's like, "Oh, I always thought it was Base." And he's like, "No, it's Bass." Oh and my God. and like and it was and it was like in that tone. Oh uh, like, uh, no, it's, it's bass. It's bass. Like and I fish. was like, and I was like, no, it's it's bass. And he looks up at me and he just looks down and he goes, and he looks over at her and he's like, it's Mega Man and Bass. I know I've played it before. And I go, it's bass, rock, roll, treble, bass. Now beat. this is becoming really. I'm getting uncomfortable listening to this story. Yeah, and this I'm is just... the douchiest. First of all, it's the most inconsequential thing. Who the fuck cares? First of all, don't correct someone if they're wrong. If they like it, who cares? But now that it's getting, now he's 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 digging his heels in on something that he's wrong about. It's stupid to begin with, but now I'm getting uncomfortable. This is great. So I I just I, I just did that, and his girlfriend just laughed, or his friend girlfriend whatever, and he just got red in the face, and like that was that. But I I just I hate it when they assume that they cannot be wrong on something because they have played games longer or they played a game or something like that even though she had already said oh i like this game like yeah she had obviously played it you know she she would know so they were together okay. so yeah friend friend's girlfriend whatever the other one so that sort of yeah, thing the, the pig-headedness the the can the i i can't possibly be wrong and then the other one is the it's all about that bass. The that you're bass. not like you don't like the right games attitude that drives me nuts, especially in in this guy. I almost is that I, more collector or player though? Game players, uh, collectors will do that too. Just like you're not collecting the right games, you're not playing the right games. It, it it's I'll get there. It's it's so a kid came in with his um mm. uh, with his dad. Uh, this has actually happened a couple of times. It happened with a, a a young girl once too, and it drove me nuts. But this was uh just um. This is just, wait, today is Tuesday. Mm -hmm. It would have been Sunday. Um, the frequency with which this happens now is insane. A kid will come in and, like, talk about Fortnite or something, and someone else will, like, roll their eyes or say something. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. But the other day, a kid was talking about playing Fortnite and was in there, and the the dude turned around and was like, you should be playing something better. Uh, let the kid have fun. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, we're all we're all sick of hearing about Fortnite. It, it, don't worry, it's gonna fucking burn out at some point. But let the kid have fun. He's like fucking six years old. Who cares? Yeah, and I looked at the dude and I said, "Don't." I said, "Don't say that." I said, "Just let the guy play." I said, "Just let the kid play." And uh, there, that's happened before. And one of the dudes, I told him to shut the fuck up because it was just annoying. I I have a tough time. How do you still work at a game store after all this? I mean, how do you how do you go through this day after day with these type of people? I don't know. Probably, I probably won't much longer. But... I was gonna say. I mean, this sounds like the worst thing. This sounds like the worst the worst aspects of retail uh, on steroids. Well, there was a uh, there was a uh, there was a girl, a young girl, who was talking to her dad about playing Fortnite, and the, there was a guy who said the same thing the other uh, like two weeks ago, and it's just like, yes. No one wants to hear it, but yes, it does happen to women in the store a lot more than it happens to guys. But it happens to guys too. I mean, if you're a different age or you're playing something that you know someone else doesn't like, you know they're gonna. And it's just like, I just don't care anymore. Just fucking let people play what they want. But yeah, the whole correcting thing, like those people don't want to be corrected ever. I'm uh, I'm collector splained on stuff, which I think is funny, especially before they. This is usually when people don't know that I have an insane amount of stuff and I've been collecting for 20 years. They'll try to tell me things about rare stuff. And uh, sometimes they're wrong about it. Like tell me like what games are on the NWC cart and not knowing what games are on the NWC cart. You know, it's just, it's just oh, people like will that. collect or explain to me at work collect all day. And at this, I just coin out my collector yeah. explain. And at this point I just like, <laughs> I just tune it to fucking snow in my brain, and I just let it go. You wish you had those like like the little invisible earbuds you can just like put the volume up. Yeah, the collector plane. I love it, Ian. All right, so go to uh, pa uh, patreon.com slash see you podcast. I almost said podcast.com. I was I almost pulled an Ian. And see how easy it is to to screw it up, and uh, help us keep uh, the lights on in Castle Country here. There you go.